it just keeps getting worse for the Toronto Raptors as we got some major injury updates for the top guys on this Toronto Raptors team as RJ Barrett went down with injury during preseason. Now it looks like that injury is going to keep him out a lot longer than people expected. And we have an update on Emmanuel Quickly, Jacoby Walter, and basically this whole Toronto Raptors team because frankly, ever since we made that Pascal Siakam trade, ever since we made those moves midway through last year, this Toronto Raptors squad has just consistently been cursed with the injury bug. I guess it might be good to get them all out of the way at the start of the season, but right now, we are having some horrible luck in regards to the injury update. So we'll break down the injuries, what it means to the Toronto Raptors, and all of that. But before we do, folks, again, if you are a part of the 67% that haven't hit the subscribe button just yet, we're getting a ton of new viewers with the channel, you know, and with the team entering back into the new season. So basically, if you're part of that new wave of viewers that haven't hit the subscribe button just yet, make sure you guys hit that sub button. It means the world to me. But let's dive into the news because we have some unfortunate updates to really dive into in this video. As RJ Barrett sustained a sprain to his AC joint in his right shoulder and will miss the rest of preseason. So it's official. We won't see RJ Barrett get to play the rest of preseason again. That's fine. Preseason games don't matter and all that type of stuff. Well, we had a, a Twitter a Twitter doctor, Ali Rend Reynoldly. Apologize if I mispronounce that, but a lot of mispronunciations happening right now. As a, basically the AC joint, uh, so he has a separated uh, shoulder injury, is classified on the amount of damage and tearing to the ligaments that attach to the, to the AC and uh, to the clavicles. So the treatment depends on the degree of tearing and majority are non-surgical. The timeline is about two to six weeks. So that's what a Twitter doctor came out and said. Ali came out and said out there on Twitter. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm, obviously I'm not a doctor, so trying to reference different stuff here. But it sucks to see that RJ Barrett's going to be out for uh, most of the preseason, getting that stuff going. But unfortunately, it looks like he might be out longer than that, he said, according to Josh Lundberg. Essentially, Lundberg came out and revealed that the season opener is two weeks away, October 23rd. It seems unlikely that Barrett will be ready. Uh, Jacoby Walter su uh, suffered a, sim a similar injury, and that was about 10 days earlier, and he'll be nearly four weeks into his recovery by opening night. So, basically, our two wings, two of our more exciting wings that we have on this roster that we have entering this NBA season are likely going to be out entering the start of this year as we saw from the the sort of breakdown two to six weeks the season is two weeks away so at the earliest we're probably getting RJ Barrett at the start of the season but unfortunately it doesn't seem like that's the case and again this is just brutal news for RJ Barrett because we saw the momentum he was having joining the Toronto Raptors last season having his uh you know, stats, having everything really improved since he joined Toronto. Then that amazing Olympic run he had, looking like the best player on Team Canada out there during the course of the summer, him and Shea Gildas Alexander. And then just the the hints, the tweets, what the co what the coaches, what the players were saying about RJ Barrett and the proved jump shot, the amount of work that this man has been putting in over the course of this summer. And then we saw it in the first quarter of preseason, just the level of confidence, the level, how quickly he was getting off that stroke right away at the start of these games. The fact that right now, right at the peak of a, a potential breakout season for RJ Barrett, that he's going to have to enter this year dealing with shoulder issues. And then again, we've seen this train before. We see how it all happens. Anyone that's been watching the Raptors, anyone that watches basketball knows. You you come in, you return from injury, and then you're generally not that great. And then you got to slowly integrate yourself back into the lineup, back into the good graces of fans, because when you return, the stats aren't going to be there. And it's just going to be, it wasn't the, the nice story that it was setting up to be for RJ Barrett's. Now, obviously, it could be worse. It could be uh, something crazy where he's out for months. It's unlikely to be the case. Two to six weeks is probably the case for RJ Barrett here right now. But the fact he's going to miss a bit in the start of the season just sucks to see. But we also got an update regarding his backcourt mate and Emmanuel Quickly. As apparently... And there's a video shown out there right now that Emmanuel quickly is getting some solo work in after practice. He's still wearing the brace on his left thumb, but Ryakovic says that he's uh, ramping things up and they expect him to be cleared for contact soon. The plan is to have him uh, get him into at least a few preseason games. And again, I'm not out here calling for people to rush back uh, into action, get back into games during preseason. The games don't matter. The records don't matter and all of that. Completely agree with all the fans that uh, are on the frame of mind on that front, but 
especially with a young team, especially with a squad that was put together the second half of last season that was so injured that they barely got any reps together whatsoever the second half of last season. The fact that these crucial games where you can work out the kinks, you can test different lineups, and you can do it all while, you know, there's no real circumstance, the repercussions about losing the games and stuff on that front. It just sucks that we're kind of robbed of this when we have a bunch of guys in their younger 20s coming out here trying to get some reps and play together in these games, and it's just not coming together it's not going to happen due to all the injury bad luck that we've had on this roster right this is supposed to be a rebuilding year and every especially during training camp especially during these moments every one of these games every moment that emmanuel quickly rj barrett have the chance to get out there on the court together is crucial so i'm happy that iq is going to be in the mix a little bit for a couple of these preseason games and things like that so that's going to be a positive. Am I worried about RJ Barrett? Am I worried about IQ? Any of these guys come back from injury? No, but I am worried about the chemistry and the effect it's going to have on the team in the short term. And maybe the long term terms of the fact that we are consistently dealing with injuries, not ever having a real chance to see this roster play together. Because again, this team is cursed right now. We have Bruce Brown dealing with injuries. We have Jacoby Walter. We have RJ Barrett. We have Emmanuel Quickly. We have Scotty Barnes is not injured out for personal reasons and getting ramped back up now at this point. But Still, it just sucks to see, but we will have, you know, there is a silver lining with all this type of stuff because again, other guys do get their, uh, get their minutes, get a chance to, to really pop out pressing the wrong buttons here now at this point, but basically we can take a look at the depth chart for this Raptors team because now it seems like Davion Mitchell, Jamal Shedd will get some more run of uh, those two guys rather than those guys varying for positions at that backup sort of PG spot, backup shooting guard spot. Right, we get more opportunities for a Jamias Ramsey, for uh, a Roden to come out there and show what they can do off the bench for this team. A DJ Carton as well, be able to come in, you know, get their opportunities to get some run, get some opportunities. Like again, RJ Barrett's being out, it's going to have more of an effect on the backcourt. IQ will be inserted into there, and I don't know. I think a lot of Raptors fans are excited to see Jamal Shed get some opportunities, get some run out there on this uh, this Raptors basketball floor. But one guy I am a bit more intrigued by, I haven't really talked about, had an opportunity to talk about him much, because I think Jamal Shedd and uh, Davion Mitchell are both going to be in that rotation chances. But the guy that's probably earning a spot, fighting for a spot the most, is going to be uh, DJ Carton, who again, is super athletic and knock down threes, is very uh, sort of quick player. I think the one silver lining for at least preseason is that we're going to see a chunk of DJ Carton get out there, get some opportunities, him and Roden. See if either of those guys can really compete and find their way into this Toronto Raptors roster. Because, again, athletic scorers that can put the ball in the hoop and come off the bench and be a spark plug are going to be some valuable skills that are used for this Toronto Raptors team. Again, we always get teased with depth and the idea that all of our bench guys, all of our guys are going to be good at during the year. But when it's preseason stuff, you want to at least figure out whether or not these guys are going to be good at basketball, bad at basketball. So once uh, December comes and half our roster is out the same way it did happen last season, we uh, know who's going to be able to step up, step into play, and be that next man up mentality. Because again, we're all hopeful that RJ Barrett, all of these guys end up staying healthy for this entire year. But as we saw from last season, right, that is rarely ever the case. And to an extreme circumstance, the Toronto Raptors are just cursed ever since we trade away Pascal Siakam. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about one of these, uh, about all the injuries that have been going on with this team. It sucks to see, but I'm hopeful that we're getting them all the way at the start of the year so we can have a, a fun season of watching Raptors basketball this entire year. Anyways, I'm signing out. Cheers.